you know, sometimes it's good to just chill and take care of yourself for a bit. What are you talking about? We've got the daily vlogs. Come on, we gotta go. Tokyo Dome City, the biggest lie in Japan. This is not a city at all. This is an entertainment complex. That is the Tokyo Dome right there. But this city isn't under the dome, just the baseball field. What's up with that? But here you can find such lovely places as uh, restaurants, shops, you have an amusement park. But it's exactly the amusement park that we're going to be looking into today. Because is it actually an amusement park? Or are they lying to us for the second time in a row? Are we going to be amused? That's the point of this, that's the title, I think. That's the point of this video. We're gonna see if we're, we're gonna be amused as a, a cold-blooded Europeans who will never have fun. Yeah, so overall, I'd say this is pretty neat. I like the interactability of it because you can change the height of your ride yourself. These are some interesting cost-cutting measures, you know? Don't need to power the rails if you can just uh, pump it yourself and pay money for it. So it is either like 4,000 yen for a day ticket, which honestly would have been the best case scenario, or you pay for everything separately, which is like 400 to 600 per, uh, per thing. At this point, I feel like the sunk cost fallacy is too much and spending 4,000 yen for a day ticket just isn't worth it. Yup. Fun fact, the Tokyo Dome itself is a lie, as it is not a dome, actually it might be. The fun fact is that the air pressure is different inside the dome to hold up the huge ceiling. Otherwise, if it was the same air pressure as outside, it would just collapse. So if you enter the dome, it'll have like a sucking feeling on you. You know, you'll get like sucked in. It, like, okay. All right, I thought it was a scam to get like a 4,000 yen uh, Ticket. Okay, it's actually 4,500. But considering the main attractions are 1,000, 1,500, then uh, yeah, it kind of like makes more sense now. Time for the big boy rides. I don't know what's going on, but there's barely anybody at the park. Like, there's no lines at all. I've never seen this. Like, fast pass is literally unusable because there's no lines for the fast pass. This is where our luck kind of stopped because we stood in line for 30 minutes afterwards because somebody e either puked themselves in the ride or shat themselves. So even during off times, they still managed to like make the lines huge. All right, so out of all of these rides, I think uh, this would be, you know, this was pretty good. If you're in Tokyo overall, as a tourist, 1500 yen, just come here. It's in the middle of Tokyo. You don't have to go to like Disneyland or Fuji Q or like far away. If you just want to have like a thrill ride next to your lunch or something. This is pretty good overall. Ooh, okay. Time to close things off at a nice pace. We're going on the big O, which is the Ferris wheel. But not just any kind. This is a one of a kind of a thing. Cause look at this. It's a karaoke Ferris wheel. This, 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 this. On health cool though. Bruises on both my knees for you. Don't say thank you or please I do. The, guy. the babysitter said this is one of the better views of the Tokyo skyline because you're just so in the middle. And I mean, for a thousand yen, yeah, it's pretty decent. You can see the sky tree, you can see the Empire State Building, you can see the Tokyo Dome. Yeah, looking from a distance, this is um, much worse than it was while being on there. Okay, while being on there, it was also pretty bad. Check out those clouds, the guard rays. Wow, the ray tracing. Right, that's the last ride that we aren't able to do because we're out of money. But it's the log ride. So it's like 
you go in the water, and then you drive down, and then you get splashed. And there's also the horror house right here, which is, uh, I think, the third most expensive thing. But I've already gone to that in a previous video, so I'm not going to revisit it. Look, she's stuck there on that grind set. Overall, this place was actually quite fun. Yeah, I'd say it gets to keep the name amusement in front of the park. So I'd say overall, in terms of amusement, it was like a six out of 10. There were, I, it had a pretty decent variety of things, you know, physical or just rides. And uh, actually I'm bumping it seven. It's just not a theme park, so there's no theme. It just, you know, you're having fun. Maybe it's slightly more expensive, but the rides are also kind of cleaner or like newer. So yeah, I'm keeping it 7 out of 10. Tokyo Dome Amusement Park. The Babysitter also would give it a 7 out of 10. So that's all for today's vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.